All right, so um, let's continue with the next topic for today. Since we are done with the depth first search traversal, so we're going to move on with the next topic, which is all about, um, this is still pertaining to the graph of read, uh, data structures. So the next will be the breadth first search traversal, since we're done with the depth first. So breadth first traversal, let's define what is it all about. So when we say breadth first search traversal, that is talking to a traversal algorithm that explores all the vertices at the present depth level before moving on to the vertices at the next depth level, typically implemented using a queue. So in this situation class, we are um, absolutely checking each of the level for this, for example, we are now at letter A, say for example. So if you are in A, what uh, that is level zero. So what will be the adjacent for um for the vertex A? So the adjacent is C and B. So that is the next level. That is the next level one. So the next level for that, the um child node of D and E will be also another um another the uh what we call this one, yes, level. So let's actually move on here for the next um step, which will be um at this step or operation will be implemented through a queue. So when we say a queue, that is something like that, that we can insert at rear and we can also remove at front. When we say um rear, that is at the last point. So that is first in, first out principle. So next for that one, let's move on to the algorithm that we are following here, which will be the, we are first visiting the adjacent and visited vertex. Um, mark that as visited and we will insert that in our queue. So if there will be no adjacent vertex is found, we will remove that vertex from the queue and repeat that recursively until the process will be done. So let's actually try to find, uh, find out uh, how to work on that um, in order for us to better understand how does it work. So let's try to move on here then. So let's actually check. So we will check that first uh, with the undirected graph since I will also make sure to discuss here for both undirected and directed graph. So let's actually move on. Um, put that, all right. So let's actually move on here. So we have our undirected graph pertaining to this graph right now. Suppose that A is your um, start state or initial state. So let's actually move on and put uh in cure that since the terminologies for the cure is in cure and the cure for the insertion and the deletion. So we will now in cure the vertex A in our queue so that um to say your front address right now will be front will be at zero and your rear will be at zero. And your current breadth first traversal for your graph will be A. So the next step, you will also figure out here what will be the next adjacent for letter A. So what will be the adjacent of A? You will also incur that in your graph. So we can actually go first with letter C or letter B. That won't matter since, of course, um, that will be the same thing since that is actually um, absolutely the next level of letter A. So that is also considered as a um, adjacent of letter A. So let's actually move on to letter, uh, we'll first incur the letter B, uh, I mean letter B. And then your front right now will still be zero and your rear, uh, rear point will be one. So your bread first search traversal right now is AB since you already visited A and B. So that's why it will become AB. Now, after having the AB, since uh, we will begin to check if is there any adjacent to letter A right now. So another adjacent for letter A will be C. So the next um, adjacent for that one, we will just incur that in our queue. 
and your status for the front will be zero, as well as your rear will be two, and your bread for search traversal as right now will be C. So now afterwards, we'll be going to check, is there any adjacent of A right now that we are unable to visit? So since there's nothing, we can dequeue letter A in order for us to access the next element. So we already in uh, the queue, the letter A in our uh, in our queue. So B right now will be our front. So that's why your front uh, here will be one since we iterate that into the next level. So BFS is currently will be ABC and we will check is there any adjacent for letter B. So there are uh, two adjacent for that. So we can enqueue either the D and letter E. Um, it depends on you where will you go. So we'll, let's move on. We'll, let's actually enqueue first letter D in your queue. So I actually moved to letter E here. So it's uh, it won't matter, class. So for B, C, E, A, B, C, E, we enqueue and your status for the front will be 1 and your rear will be 3. So after that one, what will be the another adjacent for letter B? So that will be D. So we can insert D at the next, um, we can enqueue that one and add a bucket. So in your queue right now, front will be one and rear will be four uh, since you already enqueued the letter D. So we can actually check, is there any adjacent to letter B as right now? So there is nothing. So we can also remove that or decue that in our queue. So after you decue that, let's try to check, is there any adjacent to letter C right now? So since there's nothing, there's no adjacent anymore to letter C. Let's actually move on um, by removing that in your queue. So we remove that in your queue and your bread for search traversal right now. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to update that here. It's a, B, C, E, D, supposedly. So once you dequeue the letter C, it will become E, D. Um, I forgot to put the letter D here. I'm so sorry then. D will be here since we was able to um, enqueue that here then. So I forgot to just update that here. So the next one will remove the letter C and your here right now, um, you will still update uh, the front two and four here at this level, uh, the st uh, that step. The next step for the eighth step will be the front um, uh, three and your rear will be four and you just the queue uh, the, the queue right there, the letter um, C. So in this equation right now, um, it, it's not in QE. We can, uh, we will be going to just dequeue since there's not uh, there's no element anymore adjacent to letter E, so we can dequeue the letter E. So I wasn't able to just um update that in the presentation, so I'm so sorry for that. So let's actually move on. What will be the next step for that one? So allow me to just update that for a second if I can do so. So in that certain manner, once you will um after you are uh, you already dequeue the letter e you will also you will also do um here then dequeue the letter d so that's how you will do that and after you dequeue the letter e right now so d will be left in your stack uh, i mean q so after that one, is there any adjacent for D? So there is none. So we will just dequeue that and your front right now will be negative one and negative one since that signifies as no value anymore or no current, um no vertices as was being stored in your queue and we was able to visit all of the vertices. So therefore your your red for search traversal, I'll be mindful that this is D here. So this uh the final answer will be A, B, C, E, D. So you have to be mindful regarding with the steps of that one, since if you wasn't able to check everything, so of course it will be a mistake as you go through. So that's the how you will get the bread for search traversal for undirected graph. So let's actually figure out as well. 
if how will uh, how can we do it uh, in terms of directed graphs so we will begin to check that here so let's actually move on for the directed graph um we'll check if how it does it work so this will be our our graph that we will also perform suppose that you have here the a and in your a you will also check uh in queue that first in your queue and front will be zero both for front and rear the second step we will check um, what will be the adjacent for that so we have b and c so we can in queue either b and c so we in queue here the letter b and zero one for the front and your bread for search reversal currently will be a b after uh, afterwards for that one we in queue the letter c after in queuing the letter c we can definitely go ahead, um, update the front and rear will be zero and two. And you, while you're in queue the C. So right now we are done in queuing everything. So is there any adjacent to A? So since there is no adjacent anymore, so we can DQ A, of, um, your front and rear will become one and two. Afterwards and that one, you'll go ahead and Definitely check if there is any adjacent to letter B. Yes, there is. So for letter B, the adjacent for that is letter D and letter E. So you can actually go either D or um, either letter E. That won't matter as long as you do that step by step. So right now, let's actually move on to the next level. We include the letter E. It's the same thing. And um, if you will go with that D, it's fine. So your front and rear will become one and three while incurring the letter E. And uh, your current bread for search traversal right now will be A, B, C, and E. So afterwards, you will also check, is there any adjacent to letter B right now? So the next adjacent for letter E, since we was able to incur the letter E right now, so another adjacent will be D, so we can incur letter D in your queue. So your update for the front and rear location will be one and four, and your bread for search traversal status will be updated to A, B, C, uh, no, no, yeah, A, B, C, E, D. That's the current um, bread for search traversal that we do have. So you can check here in your B, is there any adjacent aside from E and D? So there's nothing. So in that certain manner, we can also remove or the queue letter B in your queue, and we'll check here, is there any adjacent to letter C that we are unable to visit? So D is the only adjacent to that. So there's, since D has been uh, stored in your queue, so we are uh, we, need, we don't need to visit that. So we can just dequeue the letter C and just update everything in your front and rear to two to uh, and four in the seventh step. And for the eighth step, you update the front and rear location into three and four since uh, that you will begin to incorporate the simple queue. So be reminded on that one. So your current bread first, the same thing, A, B, C, and uh, E, D. Afterwards, you will also check, is there any adjacent to letter E? So since there is none, you can go ahead and queue that in this queue. And after that one, your current stock um, location will be four and four. For the front and rear and your red for search traversal the same thing nothing changed and for the last step you remove letter d um in your stack if there's no any adjacent since we was able to visit everything so we remove and your front and rear will be returned uh, returning to negative one both and your red for search traversal final will be a b c e d so that's how you will work on with a bread first search traversal in a step-by-step -step manner. So if you do have any question, you can actually just message me through MS Team or just comment your question here so that I can also raise that one. So see you in the next um, video for another tutorial. And thank you so much and have a great day.